we're given the function p of n equals 455n minus 11,375, which represents a computer manufacturer's profit p of n when n computers are sold. Notice how the linear function is in slope-intercept form. A function is in slope-intercept form if it's in the form of f of x equals mx plus b. And because we have a function of n, slope-intercept form would be p of n equals mn plus b, where m is the slope and b is the vertical intercept. So our first question is to identify the slope and then complete the sentence to explain the meaning of the slope. So again, looking at our function, notice m is equal to 455, which is the slope. The slope is the constant rate of change, or more generally, the change in y with respect to the change of x, or in our case, the change in the function value with respect to the change in the input. So for our function, the slope represents the change in p of n, or the change in profit, with respect to the change of n, which is the change in the number of computers sold. So to understand the meaning of the slope, we want the slope written as a fraction. So let's write our slope as 455 over 1. So the slope tells us the profit increases by $455 each time one computer is sold. So we can say the company earns $455 per computer sold. Let's look at this graphically. Here's a graph of our function p of n. Because the horizontal axis is scaled by tens, though, let's change the form of our slope. Instead of 455 over 1, let's multiply by 10 over 10 and write the slope as 4,550 over 10. Now, if we look at this graphically, if we select these two points here, if we move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we have to go up 4,550 units and write 10 units, which means the profit will increase by $4,550 if 10 additional computers are sold. Next, we're asked to identify the vertical intercept and write as an ordered pair. The vertical intercept is equal to b, and because we have minus 11,375, we have a negative vertical intercept, which as an ordered pair is 0 comma b, so the vertical intercept is the point 0 comma negative 11,375. The vertical intercept also tells us the function value when the input is 0, meaning p of 0 is equal to negative 11,375, which means if 0 computers are sold, the profit is negative 11,375, which means they would lose $11,375 if they sell zero computers. So to complete the sentence, if the company sells zero computers, they will not make a profit, they will lose $11,375. We don't include the negative here because notice how our sentence tells us it is a loss. Looking at this graphically, here's the vertical intercept with coordinates zero comma negative 11,375. Again, if they sell zero computers, they will have a loss of $11,375. Next, we're asked to evaluate p of 36 and then write it as an ordered pair. So to evaluate p of 36, we substitute 36 for n. So this is 16,380 minus 11,375 which equals 5,005. As an ordered pair, the first coordinate is the input of 36, the second coordinate is the output of 5,005. This means that the company sells 36 computers, they will earn or have a profit of $5,005. Looking at this graphically, we just found this point here on a linear function. The coordinates would be 36 comma 5,005. When the input was 36, the output was 5,005. And for our last question, find the value of n where p of n equals 11,830. And we're asked to write this as an ordered pair. So now we're given the function value p of n, we want to find n.
So if p of n is equal to 11,830, we'll substitute this value for p of n and then solve for n. So this would give us the equation 11,830 equals 455 n minus 11,375. We have our basic two-step equation, so we'll add 11,375 to both sides. So we have 23,205 is equal to 455 n, and this would be zero. So the last step to solve for n is to divide both sides by 455. Notice here on the right side we just have n, so we have n equals this quotient here. So we have 23,205 divided by 455, which is equal to 51. So if the ordered pair, we're given the output or function value, which is the second coordinate, 11,830, we discover if this is the function value or the output, the input, n, would be 51. So this means the company will earn $11,830 if they sell 51 computers. So going back to our graph one more time, the ordered pair is this point here, which has coordinates 51, 11,830. And we discovered that if the function value is 11,830, then 51 computers were sold. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.